Rihanna once said, shine bright like a diamond. But to experience that diamond shininess, you've got to be able to see it. How best to do that? Well, perhaps the answer is blended vision. I welcome Dr. Alan Coe to talk about blended vision today. Dr. Coe, hello. Thanks, Matt. Uh, hi, uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Alan um, from Mista, especially in Malaysia. So today, my topic of discussion is about Lentis M Plus IOL family, the blended vision approach and result. Okay, uh, first, I have no financial uh, uh, interest on the say products. Okay. So I'd like to start with some um, simple intro on the uh, M Plus IOL. The Lentis M Plus is an IOL with continuous transmission uh, technology. It's the first IOL with very focal optic segment and high balance effect. The lower sector shape part will focus the light from the near, and the rest of the lens will focus the light from intermediate and far. Yeah, according to the study by Prof. Opa in uh, year 2011, the advantage of this Lentis M plus uh, IOL design is that uh, it has only minimum loss of light energy, it's approximate about 7%. And compared to others refractive and diffractive multifocal IOL, which have mu much higher loss of light, result in a uh, loss of contrast and more scatter light and halos. Okay, look at the defocus curve of the Lentis M+. Plus. It's confirmed that the visual acuity outcome from the distant, intermediate and near vision visual, visual acuity test actually provide vision with a very broad range of vision. Okay, in uh, my country, Malaysia, um, and also most of the Asian countries, there are two options of Lentis M+, plus IOL. The Lentis M+, plus MF20, and the Lentis M plus X MF30. The M plus uh, MF20 is um, with the two plus two diverter additions. It's the um, lifestyle multifocal, which much uh, without much side effect, and that focus for near a focus for far and intermediate range. And while for the MF30 X with the plus three addition, it's offering good distance and intermission. Uh, intermediate vision and also excellent visual equity for the near range is optimized for the intense reading. Uh, intense reading. This is uh, especially good for Chinese character, which has more uh, stroke of line. So, what is my experience with this Lentis M Plus IOL family? I start to using this uh, Lentis M Plus MF thirty since October two o one two. Present, I have implanted more than five thousand of Lentis M Plus. And I start to use Comfort MF15 since uh, 2013 and more than 3,000 and implanted. And I start to using the M plus MF20 only in uh, year 2015. And I usually use in blended vision with the Lentis M plus X, uh, MF30X. More than 2,000 have implanted. What is the advantage of the M plus 30? There's a minimum loss of light, vision having a high contrast sensitivity and high visual equity in the far, intermediate and near. And most patients are spectacle independence. Uh, the, the, uh, some limitation on the MF30 is that they do have some little dysphotosia and um, patients need more time to adapt to the lens. While compared to the MF30, these, these um, lens have um, uh, high visual equity in the far and the intermediate and also have good low light vision and minimum to non dysphotosia but the limitation is that you have a limited visual equity at near about 20 uh, about some patients still need the spectacles for readings oh i just mean it it seems that that the um that there's many different types of iols here that it's all within a, a family of lenses so it seems like you can really uh, customize your approach to each patient is that right yeah Usually, I will see what the patient need and what their occupation and what their lifestyle. So my current approach uh, currently, um, if the patient need the bilateral uh, surgery, I will do the non-dominant eye first with the Lentis M plus X, the MF30. And if the patient is very happy with the new vision, I will put in the Lentis M plus MF20 for the second eye. But if the patient want more new vision, then I will put in the Lentis M plus X for both eyes. So what is the result with the Lentis M plus MF20 and the MF30S blended vision? I have had do a simple retrospective study of 100 patients done bilateral implantation with Lentis M plus MF20 and Lentis M plus S MF30. 
So I look at the uncorrected uh, bilateral visual outcome, the, the distant, intermediate, and near at one week and one month post surgery, and given some uh, questionnaire about three months follow up. And um, okay, the demographic data is uh, the mean the, the age of the patient is mainly 41 to 74, mean about 53, and type of cataract is mainly clear lens or mild cataracts. And all the surgery were done with femtosecond laser, uh, use the Zima Z8. Okay, and this is all Asian eye. And this study comprised of uh, 100 patients who have successful bilateral femtosecond assisted cataract or clear lens surgery with implantation or Lentis M plus S, MF30 in the non-dominant eye and the Lentis M plus MF20 in the dominant eye. I exclude out all the eye disease like corneal or retinal problem. The surgery was done on each eye had been done on the consecutive day and the parameter analyzed include the binocular uncorrected visual equity for distant, intermediate and near, spectacle independent, uh, the optic phenomenon and the patient satisfaction. Okay, look at the uh, uh, binocular uncorrected distance visual equity. You can see um, about 72% patients have 6, 6 or better, or and 100%, 100 of patients have 6, 9.6 or better. This is uncorrected distance visual equity. And for the intermediate, the binocular uncorrected intermediate visual equity, and said 96% of patients have 20, 20 or better, or 100% of patients have 20 or 25 or better. While looking at the near uncorrected near visual equity, um, hundred percent of patients have N five, which is about Z three, or ninety two percent have uh, Z two uh, vision equity for the near. When asking about the some questions, uh, how satisfied the patient? Then ninety two percent of patients are very satisfied or satisfied uh, with the result, and and ninety six percent of patients are spectacle independent, and. 80% of patients do not or rarely have any glare or halo at night. And 99% of patients actually will recommend their uh, recommended their friends or family to do the same procedure. In conclusion, my study showed that the bilateral implantation of Lentis MF30 and the MF20 provide very good uncorrected visual equity for distant, intermediate, and near. And uh, this uh, blended vision approach uh, achieved very high patient satisfaction. And most patients have been practically spectacle independent and close to minimum visual discipline re uh, reported. So most of the patients have a good range of vision, distant, intermediate, and near vision. And most of the patients get back quickly to daily activity, include reading and night driving. And most of the patients hardly intolerable to any dysoptosia. This approach is very good in high demanding patients like refractive lens exchange. Definitely happy patients have uh, gained more referral. Okay, thanks. Uh, this is my simple presentation. Well, Dr. Ko, excellent presentation. You know, one of my other favorite songs is Diamonds and Rust by Joan Baez. And I have to say, seeing your presentation makes other conventional IOLs look a bit rusty in their approach. <laughs>